friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little like what's in my tote bag type of video because I was going through my bags and kind of just like cleaning things out and reorganizing and whatnot. And I have a lot of fun like bookish accessories and just other staples in my bag that I feel like are kind of fun sometimes maybe plus I'm kind of nosy and I like to know what like other people carry around and what other people's like staples are staple products I guess and I have two like bookish accessory things that I think I've shown them in a previous video but I wanted to share it again <laughs> so that's what we're doing today to start off Again, I'm so sorry for the acoustics of this video. I still haven't gotten like a rug or put my wall art up or anything. So we're kind of struggling in that department, but I am ordering a microphone here in probably the next couple days or so. So hopefully the sound won't be as ridiculous. So I have a lot of different tote bags that I kind of use there's a word for what I'm trying to say here and there. But the one that I've been using the most is actually this cute little sun tote bag. I got this from Walmart literally for $5 like a year and a half ago. And she's been doing good ever since. But unfortunately, she's kind of on her last leg when it comes to the straps. So that's a little disappointing and I'm really sad. But being my sustainable self, I think I'm just going to try and like sew it back together because I do really like this tote bag and I don't want her to die on me. But this one, interchangeably, that is the word that I was trying to look for for so long. I use these three bags interchangeably just throughout the year. So the other tote bags that I have are this like tan corduroy type looking one. She's a little dirty, but it's okay. And then inside of her, I have my like denim tote bag. So all of these are different sizes. My sun orange one is like a smaller bag. And then my tan one's like a medium sized, like longer bag, I guess I would say. And then my denim one is my big boy. He's the one that I usually fit a lot of things in. So whenever I'm going like to school or I need to go to a coffee shop or the library for like homework or whatever, that's usually the one I take to put like my laptop and whatnot in. I have my entire kitchen table right here just full of all my crap that I put in my tote bag every day. So I'm gonna start off with my bookish things considering we are a bookish channel. First thing I have is actually something that I don't take with me every day. It depends on where I'm going and what time of day I'm going. And that is my little reading light. I believe I got this off of Amazon. I'll try to link it below or have like a picture of it over here somewhere. I love this light so much. I think it was like 10 or $15. It has the little clip. So I just like clip it onto one of my books. Let's do a demonstration, shall we? So I just like clip it onto one of my books like this. And then this actually has three different settings. So it has like a normal, or it has like a low light, and then a medium, and then a bright light. And then you can also change the like warmth of the light. So this one's, I think like the warmest it goes. And then if you just hold it down, it goes to like a more bluish daylight. And then it goes to like a mix of both, I guess, and then back to warm. So it's got three different light settings. I love this so much, especially if I am going to be somewhere where it's like a little bit more dark or if I'm traveling, it's just a really nice staple bookish thing to have. And since me and my boyfriend are back in the same house, he usually goes to bed a lot earlier than I do because he has to wake up earlier for work. So it comes in handy a lot for reading at nighttime. And then my next bookish accessory thing is my book sleeve. And this is from Needle and Stitch Co. She is a bookstore bestie as well as more geographically closer friend, I guess. She's actually from the same state as me, so that's fun. Squish. You're ruining my video, dude. I forgot what this one specifically is called, but I will link it down below as well as put like a picture of it somewhere around here. I love this book sleeve so much and it has literally saved my life. Dude, why? Literally why? Get out of there. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Jeez. Anyway, I like I said, love this book sleeve so much and it has saved 
my books so much because I unfortunately am a little bit abusive when it comes to my books. I will just throw them in my bag. Since I have so many other things in my bag, there is a very high possibility that it will get ruined by something else in my bag. So this has helped so much. It's padded, so it has really good protection. And then I got the midi size, so it's got a little pocket in the front and then the main pocket right there. It fits, I believe, hardbacks as well. Let me see, I've got a couple books right here from the library. Okay, so it just barely fits um, like a normally sized um, hardback book. This one I believe is a little over 300 pages. Yeah, it's a little bit over 300 pages. So it's a decently like normal sized hardback book and it fits in here. So if that gives you any size indication, she also has the actual dimensions um, like on her website. But then this one is just like your normal average paperback and it fits in here really well. You could honestly probably put like some pens or something in there because it's still got a little bit of a, of a space. But yeah, this is my book sleeve with a book in it. And then that brings me to my next couple things that I usually have in here as well. And that is my highlighters and pens. I just kind of put them in this front pocket because they fit so well. I don't normally annotate my books, but I do occasionally and I would like to eventually start annotating books because there are a couple that I really, really love and want to have fun with like underlining and highlighting and doing all that fun stuff. So the highlighters that I use are the mild liner highlighters. I don't know if you can even see that maybe. There we go, mild liner highlighters. These ones are really fun and they're really, really good. They are a little bit spendy, but I honestly just got the big box of them for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And it comes with a lot and there's a lot of different colors. So I definitely recommend these for that. But the only downside is they can bleed through a little bit. So I've noticed that if you don't want them to bleed through like at all, get erasable highlighters. They don't have a whole lot of color selections, but they do have highlighters that are erasable and those do not bleed through from what I've experimented with. And then for pens, I really like, these are just from Target. They're like their eco-friendly, I don't know, version of plastic, I guess. But these actually work really well. They're just like the U brand, so like Target's brand of pens. And I have the same thing in their pencils. And these have actually been my favorite for school and um, just writing in general. They are a little bit of a thicker top, so I don't know how great they would be for annotating, but I like them when they're a little bit thicker. And then I do also have like just a normal really skinny fine tip pen that I use when I need small lines. So then after that, there is one more thing that I put in here that all goes in my tote bag. And that is my reading journal. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my YouTube channel, but I have on my Instagram. This is also by another bookstagram bestie. Her at is the lit homebody, I believe. She makes the cutest little reading journals. And on the inside, the first couple pages are just like, um, like a yearly tracker. And you definitely can't see that. I'm so sorry. There's like a yearly tracker, which I still actually need to fill out. I really suck at doing that. And then uh, the next couple pages are like your monthly wrap ups. And then after that, all the pages just um, look like this and they are book review pages. I really want to start being better about my reading journal and like filling it out and doing all my book reviews and stuff because I am like Dory and I have memory loss. <laughs> Bad. I will read a book and then not remember why I liked it or how I felt or the details that I loved about it. So I really want to start being better about documenting everything. That way I can actually go back and be like, oh yeah, this is exactly why I liked this book or this is why I didn't like this book, you know? I've been in a weird sweet tea mood and I've literally drinking so much. It's so good. Anyway, so this is my reading journal and this just goes in the little front pocket of this. I have to maneuver my pens now. Okay, so it just goes in the front like this. So I've got this stuff and then my book and my book sleeve. 
I cannot talk highly enough about this whole setup. This is my favorite setup of all time. I mean, it's technically my first setup because I haven't really had like a reading to go kit until now, but I'm very, very happy with my little sack of bookish things. Okay, now moving on to the not bookish things. The two main things that I will never leave the house without, wallet, obviously, but also my little medicine bag. As I've kind of talked about before, I do have a lot of like stomach issues and just health annoying things in general. I do have IBS and I have a lot of social anxiety and panic disorder and just a bunch of really fun stuff. So, I know you guys probably don't really care that much, but I'm going to go through this just really quickly. In here, I have some gas medicine because you literally never know. Like, in the amount of times that people have needed this and I'm the only one that has it, everybody needs that person that just carries things that everybody's embarrassed to ask about. And then I have a singular band-aid because I don't usually need those often. Then I've got some anti-nausea medication. And then I've got some different like lozenges. Is that, I don't really know how you say that word correctly, but this one's an anti-nausea one. And then this one is actually a really cool like immune support one. It's got like echinacea, elderberry, zinc, and something else. Just with the flu season, I just wanna be careful and they actually taste semi-good, so. Not bad. And then I just have some ibuprofen, some peppermint um, capsules, some acid reflux stuff. But yeah, that's about it for my medicine bag. I have a weird like emotional attachment to this thing. If I leave the house without this, I will freak out because you just, especially with my stomach issues, like they come on so random and so often that I am reaching for this at least like five times a week when I'm out and about just like doing random things. So this is a must for me. But honestly, even if you don't have like health issues or something, I definitely suggest getting like a cute little bag like this just to carry like ibuprofen, band-aids, you know, cause you just never know when you're gonna need it. Tampon, you know what I mean? Emergency kit. And then the next thing that I have that is very, very vital for me to have is my little like CBD stress essential oil like roll-on. Thing. This one's from Plant Therapy and it smells literally amazing. I love the smell of it so much. I use this a lot when I am having anxiety when I'm like out in public because something about just the smell of it in general just calms me down a little bit. So this is a must in my bag. And on the topic of smelly good things, I am trying to be more sustainable. I mean, I've been on a, like a sustainable journey for a while now, but I ended up switching for the most part to solid perfume. So this one I actually got got at my local um, co-op or like health food store. And this one smells very citrusy and I can't remember what the, it's lavender, orange, patchouli, and pink grapefruit. That's the essential oils that are in this that make it so smelly good. I literally love this in summer. Oh, it smells so good. And it's a more sustainable option. Since it is a solid perfume, you just like put your little finger in it and then just like rub it. It doesn't last like super long, but it still smells amazing. And like I said, sustainable and you can reuse this little tin can. Next, I have some hand sanitizer cause germs and flu season. This one is from Trader Joe's. It is the grapefruit and lemon. I'm a big like citrus gal. It's a very calming smell for me. So even my hand sanitizer like helps me with my anxiety and stress in general. And then next I have my lotion. I actually got this little guy from the market, uh, my local market. There's this gal that makes them handmade and I really like to support my local small businesses. My next thing that I have is my chapa stick. This <laughs> Again on the sustainable train. This is actually a glass container from Youth to the People. It was a moisturizer cream, like one of the travel sized ones. But then I just end up putting Aquaphor in this little container and it has lasted me literally so long. I mean, it's still, why is it not focusing? It's still completely full and I've had this for like two months now. So it goes a really long way. If you ever need ideas about how to reuse containers, that is one of them. And then the last couple things that I have are my AirPods. I, like I said, have really bad like social anxiety and stuff. So when I'm going out and about like grocery stores, bookstores, 
any anywhere that I am with a lot of other people, but don't actually have to like converse, I will have my headphones in and I'll be listening to a book or some music or just something to kind of like drown out the commotion of like my surroundings. Next thing I have is my little hair clip. This thing doesn't come in handy as much as I wish it did anymore because I did chop all my hair off. So my hair is like too short to really pull back anyway. But I usually just like take this section of my hair and like, I don't know, clip it back so that it's out of my face. So that's been really helpful. And then I always have a snack and I'm a literal child. So I have these little like fruit patchy things. They're so good and they're fruits and vegetables. So you're getting your nutrients in. And then the very last thing that I have is my little reusable bag. I don't like to use plastic bags like ever if I don't have to. So I will always try to bring this little bag wherever I go. I got this one from Ikea. It's like a little fruit bag. I got this one from Ikea, but you can get them at a lot of like health food stores and Amazon. And they usually have them a lot online, but they're relatively cheap. I think I got this one for like four or five bucks. Anyway, that is everything that I have in my tote bag. I hope you guys had fun with this video and kind of getting a little peek into some of the things that are major staples in my everyday life. If you have some staples that are in your tote bags that are in your everyday life, please let me know. I love to see, like I said in the beginning, I'm nosy and I just like to know what other people like to carry around all the time. As always, I appreciate you guys so much and I love you so much. And I will try to link most of the things that I have um, in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, nighttime, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video.